On the overnight Monday night into Tuesday, the clouds will begin to diminish, becoming partly cloudy. By week's end, the light of improving weather. But the BLAST group knows this opportunity is still more than five days away, with the science clock ticking. We're not going to sit regretting this tomorrow morning, are we? I don't think so. I think it's, uh, I don't think we're going to have a shot. The last two nights, the science team has observed the wind shut down considerably after midnight, despite the weather reports. And their concern is a closer launch opportunity may be missed. Where are they, where do they need to be? What do they need to be? I'd say they need to be, for your payload, I'd say they need to be about eight knots at the max. Having scientists second guess us during the launch phase is something that we're very accustomed to and we sort of ignore it as best we can. Thanks, thanks, thanks guys. guys. Appreciate I mean, it. We, uh, you know, there's, there's pressure on, on both sides and uh, we're now at this, uh, at this point where we're ready. Um, the experiment's working great and we're looking forward to the science and we need to launch within, uh, within a matter of days to maximize the scientific potential. And I think we approach that decision with uh, an appropriate amount of daring, uh, but at the same time we have a healthy respect for what a, a problem it can be if you, get, uh, if you get too bold in trying to get one of these off the ground. There's this intermediate ground where, you know, things should go okay, uh, there should be no problem, but we're just not 100% certain. You know, we'd appreciate it if, uh, if you guys would bear with us for a few more days, we'll get this thing off, but... You know, some of the second guessing and looking at the anemometers and all that stuff, that really doesn't serve any purpose. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't do you guys any good to become junior meteorologists and, and forecast the weather. That's what Ross is doing. And, uh, you know, in the, in the final analysis, we'll get, we'll get the thing off this weekend. Everything will be fine. Or will it? How much longer can the BLAST science team hold out? Good. Assembly of the BLAST submillimeter telescope was supposed to take three weeks. Instead, setbacks cost the science team two additional weeks. On top of that, Arctic Sweden's wettest and coldest spring in 100 years. Hardly ideal scientific balloon launching conditions. But just in time, the weekend weather forecast showed promise. So that east direction is probably our best bet. Yeah, 68 degrees, 70. At the top of the balloon, still 70 degrees. And this is for what time? F 18Z, 8 p.m. All right, what about? Though the forecast was optimistic, this launch day initially looked like a no-go. Right. So you want to you press on? Oh, yeah, let's keep going. I mean, unless, unless you guys see an intermittent rain. I mean, yes, we're ready. Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're okay. Just waiting now for this cloud mass to go away and when it goes away from us enough it should be we should be able to establish a solid direction uh, look, we've got good low level wind conditions three four knots great so now if we can just get some of this precip to be out we can launch. i think we might do it today 